Hey everyone, I'm Steven21967 and we are looking at a progress update. Yesterday there was an update to 9.4, so we have some new information here. I had to look through to try to find what information is new. I wish I wish that they would up or do a good better job of you know uh, marking what is new information so we can scroll through and find it. So last edit, 51921 by the dev so nothing here is different unique all right that's everything there i don't see anything is different okay now here's here's the new thing added the stone grinder add stone like add stone like the stone crate and let this machine grind small stones automatically if you have sufficient power using the e to add stones and right mouse button to take the sand and fragments. I have added a way to discard all the sand H and keep only the fragments for those who don't who do not want sand. So it requires 100 power. Grind small stones into sand and iron fragments. So we don't have to uh, we don't have to put stone in the forges anymore to get fragments. Okay. Uh, each stone will provide 20 sand. Each stone will provide 20 sand and three fragments. Well, that's that's quite a bit of sand for each stone. Wow, that's that's really good actually. So it takes 25 seconds to grind each stone. Build recipe is 12 electrical parts, six mechanical parts, 20 iron ingots, and five planks. All right, and there it is right there. Okay, this is going to be very interesting. So, um, this is in the 9.4, so I'm assuming that this is coming with 9.4. So, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we don't have to make sand anymore. Although, I got to tell you, man, when I'm going out farming rocks to, to, get, uh, to make them into sand so I can make glass or maybe to make bricks, I'll just do them right, right on my own personal... Um, table you know what was a crafting table crafting stone i think is what it actually is called so we're going to need a little bit more power okay let's see i'm taking a look at there's no changes of food are the changes all right there's nothing different about the electrical components all right um i guess that maybe people i see cart location so it's possible that maybe people are losing their carts somehow and they can't find them. It, it could be like you're attacked by an animal and you're like running from it and shooting arrows at it. And then by the time you finish killing it, you can't remember where you dropped your cart so you could fight. So I don't think you can fight with the cart. I mean, you could pick up other objects and use your bow and arrow or spear to fight something. And not have to put the object down but the cart is the one thing like if you're in the cart you can't fight period so maybe that's my guess is what i'm seeing here is that people have asked if there's some way to show where the carts are in case they uh, misplace them so that makes sense oh yeah i mean you could put your cart like you could be out in the world put your cart down to fight something and then act, and then die by accident, or not by accident, but end up getting killed by a bear or a vambi, and then you respawn back at your spawn bed, and then where the heck in the world is your cart? That cart could have like a ton of super important stuff, you know, mechanical, electrical parts, whatever, and it's like you got to go back and find it. You absolutely need it, otherwise it's a tremendous loss. So this, I guess this makes sense. I mean, this is kind of nice quality of life addition to give us the ability to find our cart. So that actually might be a bigger, bigger deal. All right. And then down here, he's added a take all button for uh, mineral extractors. Um, all right. I don't see anything else here. So that's kind of nice that he's done, you know, he's, he's doing some of the work to figure out the code in order to determine what can and can't be put like do you have enough room in your bag to take all items this is this is kind of very nice man because i definitely let my extractors go until they're all practically full and then 
you know, mouse, you know, moving everything back and forth is kind of annoying. That's, I mean, that's not bad. I mean, that just makes things a little bit easier. And I think that that's, yeah, I think that that's it. Let's go take a look at the discussion and see if the developer has any remarks. I think the last time I checked, I don't think I saw any marks. See if any of you guys are in here making comments. I don't remember everyone on our channel. I usually remember the people who who comment the most. You know, I remember their names. Okay, Digic Studios. So major issue with this update. If I play in a winter only campaign, I will not be able to get any fish or plants at all. I have some solutions for this. I will post once complete. Well, the way you do this is you, you just, you have to quickly build up. You can't get fish, although somebody said if you get close to the ice and the fish comes up close to the ice, you can spear it. And then as for plants, it's just, you got to build a base. You got to get a stone forge up and running fast for heat. And then you got to keep that running all the time until you can get like a coal heater, something that's a little coal heater and, and one coal will last just about six days in the game. And then you can put together your, your plant beds and start putting stuff in them. There's also the greenhouse. You, you create the greenhouse, you're going to have plants. But again, that's difficult. That's very difficult to get right away. And you're, you're going to starve by then. You'll, you'll die. Although um, there's a trick if you're taking hit point damage because your proteins or vegetables or thirst or all of the above are too low is uh, sleep in your bed. Get in the bed and sleep. It looks like somebody's including a screenshot of... Okay. Yeah, somebody... Looks like somebody is able to get the fish through the water. So they, they did a screenshot in Karma. I wonder if they're the one that commented in my channel about how you can stab through the ice. It might be them. Uh, I'd have to I'd have to look if you're if you're the one who commented about that you know just give me a quick comment say yeah that's that was me that pointed that out it's like thanks I mean actually thanks it's that's an interesting point it's a little tip and trick that can definitely uh, pass on to everyone so that people know that in the winter if things go bad really for whatever reason you're struggling to get food okay here's Sifner he's a developer why okay Dev said no to multiplayer. Why? They explained the reasons. It would be nice to play with my girlfriend or some other friends. Actually, the full response regarding full multiplayer is that there are no plans to implement multiplayer at this time. The game still requires a lot of work. Between being in early access, things changing, story not in the game yet, etc. And that is where focus and work is going at this time. Yeah, I again, I'm not a, I'm, I'm a developer, but I'm not a game developer. And I can't tell you what they would need in order to, you know, get multiplayer up and running. I don't need know if they need to hire a separate person who knows how to uh, set up multiplayer in their game. It's possible that their developers don't know how to do it. They only know how to sing do single player, so that's it. All right, so here's uh, Digic Studios. Next update will be two to three months. Update 9.4 should be re released in about one to two weeks. And I said, likely this weekend. So this is 11 hours ago. You guys, we might have something. We might have 9.4 this weekend. And that's going to be scary because I'm coming up. I'm coming up on winter pretty soon in my game. I'm in the fall right now and we're playing hardcore. So Vambies are, uh, everything has max health, max damage to me. I have to go get my greenhouse and bring it over. And I'm not worried about the Vambies. I mean, they typically don't attack uh, our crafting stations and stuff. They go after the base, but they'll run right by the extractors and stuff. So I feel very confident that uh, my greenhouse will be safe from attacks. Unless I decide to try to like hide in the greenhouse. For some reason, I take too much damage. And it's like I have no nowhere to, to safely run. I might run in the greenhouse if I have it close the door, look in my bag for something, you know, like a health kit or grab some uh, cucumbers to try to get my health back up and everything. Or if I'm, you know, if I'm, if I have a dot, like a infection or something. So anyway, the, 
Um, the stone grinder is very nice. It's very nice. It's a it's an upgrade over the way that we are currently getting sand, and we get fragments. Three fragments on top of that. That's really nice. Nice. Personally, I would rather take ten sand and three fragments. That's that's kind of the way I I would like to see that. But that's the way they're doing it. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell them otherwise. And this cart location is nice. So. Yeah, we're going to be going back and forth. In the early stages of the base build, I am going to have to run back and forth to my base. Like, I'm right here. I'm going to have to run back to my base to get stuff there to bring back here. And then I have to go all the way over here because I have a greenhouse here that I need to bring back over here so I can have something over the winter. Because if the game, if he updates to 9.4 this weekend and winter comes at this weekend for me too, then I need that greenhouse. I, I absolutely positively have got to have it. And it's possible. You, If you've watched my, re, my very first video on Hardcore, you will see that uh, a boar almost one-shot me. I have 137 hit points. And he took a little, I think he took like 100 or so in his hit. And I barely survived killing the boar. And it's possible that when I'm going back and forth to these places... That I'm going to run into something. And I'm not going to be able to fight it. Survive it. I'm going to die. I'm going to spawn back here. And then I'm going to be. Where is my where is my cart? Where is. Well. This is only for carts. So if I'm bringing back the greenhouse. It's like. Well the greenhouse is pretty big. But this whole area. This is very big. And it's very wooded. And it could be very easy. To uh, lose something. If you die. Well, actually, it would, uh, if I'm carrying a cart and I die, well, yeah. I mean, I can put down a cart on the ground, but there's some things you can't put on the ground. Anyway, anyway, that's, I'm just, I'm just uh, going on and on and on and on. Uh, anyway, that'll be it for this video, you guys. So, if you like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, you get alerts when it come out new videos, which is every single day. And as always, comment. What things are you looking for? Which things are nice? What things would you like to see changed and done? Um, yeah, I mean the cart location is very is very very nice. Yeah, it's pretty decent. All right, so that'll be it for this video, guys. Later, dudes.